Alright guys, I've got a box here and uh, ordered this off of eBay. This is uh, <clears throat> what T-Man purchased. He uh, shot a link on one of his live streams, so I decided to go in and uh, get one for myself. I will uh, also include the link in the description down below. Now, this person on eBay sent this to me. I bought it on a Wednesday, and it showed up that same Friday, two days. From California. Now I have a hard time receiving mail from, let's say, Texas for an example, and it takes them over a week. I've ordered parts uh, from eBay from the Texas area, and it took over a week. I ordered something from California, which is on the other side of the U.S., and I get it in two days. So go figure. So let's see what's in the box. No, these are not snacking peanuts. These are uh, packing peanuts. So this is like part Cheetos. <laughs> I already see uh, part of the system. With brake fluid in it, so it looks like it's pre-bled. It's got a spacer block holding the brakes in place, which is nice. Should be one other part. Right. Nice little brake rotor. A little small, but it might work on uh, a different project. It's about the same thickness as the uh, one on the Murray. So, like I said, I'm gonna have the. Uh, Link in the description to uh, so you can find it, so you can get yours in a couple of days or sooner, depending if you live on the uh, west coast. <clears throat> this is the adjustable brake peg. This one here, like the one <coughs> T Main has, sorry, um, has the bevel lever. So no matter which direction you mash it in, it's going to push that pin. It pushes the plunger to mash the brake fluid down to the caliper at no matter what angle. Which is makes it a lot easier for uh, more complicated builds or make it a little easier on uh, complicated positions on whatever application you're using, on, whether it be a go-kart or a mini bike or things of that nature. So I will be testing this out and seeing how it works. T Man, uh I want to thank you for posting that link because uh for roughly forty three dollars I've got you know brake rotor, caliper, mass cylinder, reservoir with the brake fluid already in and it's using dot three brake fluid <coughs> so that makes it uh, a lot easier on bleeding if it's already bled you don't have to do nothing more than uh, a little minor fine tuning on it and that's it so to me that is worth every penny of it it comes with pretty much everything the only thing it doesn't come with is the adapter that goes on the rear axle. Now, if you're mounting this on a mini bike, uh, most mini bikes, most of the newer ones that have the uh, four bolt centerpiece, this should bolt right up to it. Uh, you would bolt it up this piece towards the wheel. That gives you more room. If this rides near the tire, the brake section of it. 
for your brake caliper to slide onto it. If it's flipped over this way, it'd be too, too close. But uh, it's missing the, or it didn't come with the uh, one piece where you would mount on the axle, which is fine with me. Like I said, I'm not going to use this this rotor, which is going to be a shame because this is a nice one. But this would work perfect on uh, the first go kart I posted on YouTube. Not so much on the Murray. It's too small for the uh, wheel size that I have on there. If I was using smaller wheel sizes on the back, this would this would work out pretty good. Um, it's a six inch rotor from the looks of it. It's a drilled rotor, so makes cooling of the rotor a lot easier. The uh, slotted, they don't only have holes in it, but they have like slits or slots all the way around. That also helps with the uh, cooling of the brake rotor. As everyone knows when you put the brakes on, you, you're causing friction. Friction is what stops your vehicle, go kart, mini bike, whatever, and it needs a way of cooling. But the ones with the holes in them and the ones with slots, slot, like I said, slots are better. The ones with a hole like this one, the holes in it, um, work pretty good too. Uh, on this one, it looks like all I have to do is uh, make a mounting plate, run a couple of bolts in it, and I should be good to go. Once I get everything uh, mounted up on the Murray, I'll uh, give you a review on it and let you know what I think of it. That's all for now. Uh, like I said, the link's going to be in the description, and uh, we'll see y'all later.